I really need to thank you and Sarah for being there for me. You guys could have easily said, this isn't my problem. This is your problem. Your lack of due diligence is entirely your fault and not done anything at all. But you guys have been there for me every step of the way. You responded on Voxer at 342 in the morning. I know it might have been 642, depending on where you were. But honestly, who works at that time? So just the fact that you guys were there for me, I appreciate it so much. Welcome to the Creating Wealth Show with Jason Hartman. You're about to learn a new slant on investing, some exciting techniques and fresh new approaches to the world's most historically proven asset class that will enable you to create more wealth and freedom than you ever thought possible. Jason is a genuine self-made multimillionaire who's actually been there and done it. He's a successful investor, lender, developer, and entrepreneur who's owned properties in 11 states, had hundreds of tenants and been involved in thousands of real estate transactions. This program will help you follow in Jason's footsteps on the road to your financial independence day. You really can do it. And now, here's your host, Jason Hartman, with the complete solution for real estate investors. Welcome to episode 1280, 1280. I can't believe we're here already. We've got a 10th episode show today. But this one is kind of special, in addition to a 10th episode show. Our guest today will be James Malinchek, and uh, he will be speaking at our upcoming Profits in Paradise event in Orlando. We are very excited about this, and also happy to announce registration is open at, you ready? Here it is. You can remember this uh, URL I'm about to give you, jasonhartmanlive.com. JasonHartmanLive.com. You can go there and get your early bird tickets. And the early bird pricing from the time I'm recording this ends in six days, nine hours, 57 minutes, and 11 seconds. <laughs> How's that for specificity, right? Anyway, I got to tell you, I am really excited about our upcoming Profits in Paradise event in Orlando. It's going to be great. We are going to do a little more focus on this event on productivity. I want to talk to you. I'm going to be presenting some stuff about productivity and how you can just be more effective with your real estate investments, with your life in general. And I'm going to share some of the hacks I've used. And don't get me wrong, there are areas where I'm very weak on this, but you got to know your weaknesses. Hopefully, I, I know most of them. We all have blind spots. So I'll share some of those, some of my struggles with productivity and some of my uh, successes with it. Uh, you always hear me talking about income property and various other things, but I have not talked much about this topic and how you can hack productivity. So very excited about that. I'm putting together my own talks together on that. And I've been doing a lot of research about it. And then the other element that is a little bit different than some of our events for this one, we're going to talk about some mind hacking stuff. I guess that would be a uh, a subcategory of productivity. We'll be talking about that too at uh, this upcoming Profits in Paradise. Be sure to check out our properties podcast, our property cast, that will give you all of the brand new properties as they come on. And again, those are in visual format, in print format. There's no sound on this podcast. It is uh, simply something that is in print and you can open up the performance of the properties on your smartphone or on your computer and get them delivered to you just like you get this podcast delivered to you. So go to whatever podcast platform you use and look for Jason Hartman's property cast and check that out. I think you'll really enjoy it. We've got a lot to talk to you coming up about all of the stuff that's going on with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and uh, the Trump administration's plan to really change that. And I think it's going to be good. I'm really quite excited about it. Also, uh, Trump is making his crazy remarks uh, about the Fed again and, and picking on the Federal Reserve, which is always kind of fun to watch. Um, and now he's calling for negative interest rates. The president of the country is actually calling for negative interest rates. So uh, that's pretty amazing. So a lot of stuff to talk about, but we will save that for a non-10th episode show. On these episodes, 
unlike tomorrow and Monday's episode and all next week, we talk about something of general interest, life success. And so that's what we're going to dive into today with our guest, James Malinchek. Be sure to go to jasonhartmanlive.com right away and get your early bird tickets just over six days left for those at the special pricing, jasonhartmanlive.com. And here is James Malinchek. It's my pleasure to welcome my friend James Malinchek back to the show. He was on several years ago, and he is the world's leading authority on speaking. He's a number one speaker, coach, and trainer. He was a star of The Secret Millionaire Show. You may have seen that on TV. He's had over 15,000 media appearances, just has a phenomenal track record. He's got a great story. He's a great coach on uh, abundance and success thinking and positive mindset and the importance of that. James, welcome. How are you? Hey, Jason. How are you, buddy? Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's great to have you. And it was great to have breakfast with you uh, just a few days ago here in South Florida. We discovered we are neighbors by accident, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how Starbucks brings people together. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story. You lived in Henderson, Nevada, Correct. and you moved to Florida. And I lived in Las Vegas, Nevada for about a year and a half. We both moved around the same time. We're both one morning at a Starbucks in Delray Beach, Florida, and you said, Jason Hartman. And I said, yeah, James. <laughs> <laughs> what a small world. I know, Starbucks, bringing people together. That yeah. should be their new cliche, their well, branding statement. Not only bringing people together, <laughs> but 2,500 miles away. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We, we live not far from each other in the Vegas area, yeah. and we both got to move across the East Coast and go to Starbucks to meet. <laughs> totally. I, I mean, there are no accidents, right? That's there true. are no I accidents. I agree. Tell me about the Secret Millionaire show. That was really moving watching your episode. And uh, of course, that was very good for your career, too. You gave away your own money. You had to put your own money in escrow long before the show was filmed, right? It's really interesting how that all works. Yeah, for uh, anyone who doesn't know, the show was basically they took me, they picked me up, took me out of my world, my life, my business, and dropped me into an impoverished neighborhood. I went into uh, Gary, Indiana, which at the time was one of the top uh, crime places in the in the U.S. Hey, 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 listen, I've been to Gary, Indiana. Oh, you've twice. been to Gary, Indiana. Oh, yes, I have. It's uh, <laughs> it's not so nice. <laughs> you were buying property there? <laughs> no, I wasn't buying property there, but I was looking at property because I'm I'm just a, a real estate addict. I look everywhere I go. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, then you know how tough it can be around there. It is there. tough. Yeah. And so basically, I had to live undercover, meet amazing, beautiful people who were changing lives in the community and volunteer for them. And then at the end of my time there, I have to decide who I'm going to disperse over $100,000 of money to in order to help them further their mission and their cause, hence Secret Millionaire. So that's what the show premise was about. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, it was one of the, you know, I went on this show thinking that I'm going to be a business guy who's going to go on a show, you know, see some great people doing some great work, write them some checks to help their cause and then, you know, go back to my normal life. And Jason, I got to tell you, I believe that I got more out of what I learned from mm -hmm. just observing these amazing, I don't even call them people, I call them angels and mm -hmm. givers. Yeah. Than I think they got out of the money. Right. You know, I, I learned what sacrifice and giving and true caring is about to do it for no other reason than to just help people and to do it because that's why they were doing it. They weren't making money doing it. Mm -hmm. And it was just amazing. And, you know, it really kind of kicked me in the shins and reminded me, you know, that's why we're here on Earth. Sure, we want to be successful and in business and financially successful, hopefully. But, you know, we should be about lifting people up, giving back to one another, helping those who are in tough situations. And that's really what I got from being on the show. It was just a beautiful experience. Well, that's fantastic. And tell us about the some of the inner workings of that, if you can. I'm not, you know, I'm actually might be putting you on the spot. I'm not sure if you're allowed to disclose all this, but you're giving away your own money. And what, about $100,000? Yes. Uh, when they uh, actually asked me to be on the show. And I didn't audition, by the way, in like a football stadium with 300,000 people. 
you know, a, somebody, a mutual friend of mine and of one of the producers actually referred me to the producer. And to this day, I don't know who the mutual friend was or I would thank them. And so when ABC contacted me, we didn't respond. We actually turned them down for two weeks because it was hidden. It was never said it was ABC. They always hide that because they don't want people doing things just to get on television. Mm -hmm. Finally, I said to Cindy, my assistant, who's my sister, I said, you know what, give me the phone number because they kept emailing, even though I rejected them like two or three times in a two week period. Because all I knew is it was somebody doing some documentary show. You know, you know, you didn't know who it was. Right. right? And so I called the uh, producer and I said, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate your interest, but I just am not interested. And the reason I wanted to call the producer was if the mutual friend ever asked the producer, hey, uh, how, how to go with my friend James? I didn't want that producer saying, well, he didn't even have the courtesy to call us or reach out to us after we reached out to him. So I thought I would call her back and just politely tell her thanks, but I'm not interested, which I did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she did something that we should all learn when it comes to doing uh, real estate deals, doing business, doing anything. She ignored my objection and just kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And I was like, well, I, I kind of noticed that. I was like, well, oh, that was interesting. And But she was pleasant to talk to. And I noticed something that it was about 40 minutes and I'm still on the phone with her. And I was like, well, that's crazy because I don't stay on the phone that long with anybody, right? So finally she said, you know, I have to tell you something. You sound great. You sound like exactly what we're looking for. And I said, but I'm not interested. I already told you that. She said, well, I have to tell you something. Are you at a computer or can you flip open a laptop? And I said, yeah. And she said, flip open a laptop and type in this. I'm going to give you a weird like 37 digit code. And I said, OK. And I like I was typing in like, you know, the number seven underscore question mark hyphen the, you know, the number two. OK, it's just a weird. secret website. Yeah. yeah and, and all it was was when you went to the website, it was just a place to put in a code. There was no website, mm -hmm. which was weird. And so when I did that, I was in ABC's website. And um, Lisa, I want to show you that we are actually doing a show called Secret Millionaire. It's going to be on ABC television. And I want to show you some of the um, clips from the UK. I think it was the UK version. And I'm like, what? And I'm looking, though, and I'm seeing all the ABC stuff. So I know I'm on ABC's website. I'm like, why would the heck would ABC be calling me? Like, it didn't it wasn't registering. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so long story short, they said, we, we love you. We want to pitch you tomorrow to the executives of ABC. They did. They got this. OK. They called me up started the contract. And yeah, you're right. My contract was I had to give away $100,000 to uh, folks. And here's the thing about it, too. When we shot the show, it was shot a year in advance. So if it didn't come out a year later, meaning actually run on television, it's mm -hmm. not like I get my money back because mm -hmm. we already gave the people the money. Right, right. So it yeah. was it was a risk. Yeah. It was a risk. But mm -hmm. I truly believed in the producers. I believe they were good human beings. And I believe they weren't going to screw people around like you always hear Hollywood. Yeah, folks. So, some of these shows really are a scam. I get hit up by these producers and they're sort of like they either make you pay for it. And, yeah. you know, a lot of this stuff you see magazine covers, articles, TV shows, you know, these people are paying to be on it. It's not like real media. Right. You know, we got to understand that the world ain't what it seems a lot of times they're just like pitching you i mean i one about a month ago one was just after me to do this thing and you know i just didn't want to do it it was it just seemed too hokey uh, for me but you know abc that's the real deal so you know yeah interesting well when i realized again i couldn't believe why abc would want me i'm just a business guy entrepreneur i'm just somebody out there like everybody probably listening <laughs> you know I'm, i wasn't a tv guy meaning but that's what they wanted. They wanted the average everyday person right. next door. Mm -hmm. So what really got me to do the show was the producers then flew to my house after the executives signed off on it. And they met with me at my house and I, I still just wasn't buying it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like well, why would they want me on ABC television primetime? And so the one producer who's one of my friends, to good friends to this day, she saw that I wasn't buying it. So she got up from her chair, came around my desk in my house, grabbed my arm and said, look at me in my eyes. 
And I said, I'm sorry, what? She said, look at me in my eyes. She said, I give you my word. This is for real. We are not going to mess people over or hurt people. We're going to help a lot of people with the message and the essence of this show. We really like you. You mm-hmm. should do this show. Yeah. And I did it. That's that's what it was. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, it's quite moving. I watched your episode and, and really enjoyed it. You know, I grew up very poor. You've got a great success story. You know, the rags to riches story ever since Horatio Alger uh, made it uh, popular is uh, one that's uh, captivated America and, and the world, hopefully, but especially Americans. What do you see as some of the fundamental mindset traits that take people from very humble beginnings or even impoverished beginnings to a life of abundance and success. And by the way, now might be a good time during the segue to say you'll be speaking at our upcoming Profits in Paradise event in Orlando, Florida, right? Well, I'm so fired up. Thank you for uh, asking and thank you for your confidence and thank you for trusting me with your your great people. I can't wait to rock the house for them. They will love it. <laughs> well, we look forward to having you. I've seen you speak before and it's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But uh, these mindsets, I mean, it all starts with thought. Everything is created out of human thought, right? Absolutely. You know, what I really think, if I look back, you know, I grew up in a very tiny steel mill town outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, here in the U.S., and we didn't have much. Dad worked as a steel worker. Mom was a lunch mother at the school serving lunches to the kids. So we didn't have any kind of wealth or we didn't come from stuff, if you will. And so what I think happens is we allow, to answer your question, we allow our old story, our old paradigm, our old environment to dictate where we are today and where we're going in the future. I would say if you don't like where you started, that's great. You can change it by changing the way you think because the way you think determines your actions and your actions determine your habits and your habits determine your results, both good or bad. And so if you change the way you think like, oh man, I can't be successful because I came from a small steel town or I can't be successful because of fill in the blank, then that's the story you keep telling yourself over and over and over. And there's no way possible that you can achieve abundance, you can achieve prosperity, you can achieve wealth when you're telling yourself that old story. So you got to rewrite the story and you got to write the story for how you want it to be. And you have to make decisions from where you want to be, not from where you were in the past or even where you are right now. And that's one of the biggest mistakes I see people make. And by the way, we all make and we all fall into that rut. It's not like I'm something special or you're something special. We have to make sure we get our car back in alignment when it drifts out of alignment. It's a constant battle because the drift of the world is negative. I mean, I would argue that it's negative. Uh, Certainly the media is negative because, you know, that's what sells. That's what everybody for whatever kind of uh, reason, we all have this sort of sickness. That's what sells. And so that's what you hear out there. So we constantly have to get that car back in alignment. I like that metaphor. Yeah, absolutely. And it's an ongoing process, you know, and if you always focus on the excuse why you can't have prosperity, achievement, success, abundance, then you'll never find the solutions for how you can have it. And so you can only have two things in every situation. You can have excuses or results, and excuses don't matter. What you got to focus on are the results and how do you make it happen. But so many times we tend to focus on the excuse because that's the easy way out. Of course I'm not successful. I grew up in a small town. Or of course I'm not successful. I never did this or I never did that or I came from the wrong side of the tracks. It's easy to drift back out of alignment into the pity party. And I always tell folks, don't have a pity party. The only thing that happens, you become pitiful. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, again, it's the old excuse. You start there by shifting your paradigm. And a lot of folks kind of go through, well, let's take real estate, right? Doing a deal, right? Doing a property. Someone might say, well, what if it doesn't work? That's how we're programmed. Mm -hmm. Well, what if this doesn't go right? Or what if I screw up? Instead, you ought to program yourself to, man, what if it does go great? How awesome am I going to be? How great of a life am I going to have? And so you change what you focus on by making a simple choice to focus on onward and upward and not where you came from and not all that trash and garbage and old baggage that's holding you back. So we constantly are influenced by the outside world that pushes us into the focus of looking at our past. But 
if we want to get ahead, we need to invent our future, right? Absolutely. Um, so can you speak any more to how we do that? You know, like the technique for it. A discouraging thing happens after someone's listening to this podcast. You know, they're motivated, they get it, and then something bad happens. And it's another disappointment, another setback. How do they think about it? How do they view it? What do they do? Yeah, so a couple uh 30,000 foot ideas, and then I'll give you a tactical maneuver on the ground. First of all, you have to remember that your past does not have to equal your future. It only equals your future if you choose to let it. And understand also, failure and discouragement is not bad. It's a learning process. It's an educational process. Almost everything that I've been blessed to accomplish in my life, I learned from messing up and screwing up. You know, I always say adversity is the best university if you allow your eyes and ears to catch the message and you learn from it. Mm -hmm. And so there's the 30,000 foot view. Now the tactical of here's something that I practice. I've been doing this for 25 years. I learned it from a good friend of mine, Jack Canfield, who created a book series called Chicken Soup for the Soul, yep. co-creator. He's been on the show a few times. Oh, has he? Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome one of my dear friends for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I learned this when I was attending an event as a student of his. It's a very simple concept called E plus R equals O. And that stands for E, events. Events happen. You know, things happen to you. You know, somebody screwed you over in business or you grew up on the wrong side of the tracks or fill the blank, right? And most of the time, the majority of the time, we can't control those events. Uh, give me an example. Let's say that I finish a presentation and Jason, you, which I know you wouldn't, but you walk up to me in the back and you say, James, I've met a lot of people in my life and out of everybody I've ever met, you're the biggest idiot and dingbat I've ever met in my life. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> right? Some well, negative I, feedback from the yeah, world. Yeah. Which, which happens to everybody, yeah. right? Right. Well, I always ask, like when I'm doing this in front of an audience, I always say, how many of you think that would raise my self-esteem? And like people laugh, right? <laughs> right? And nobody puts their hands up. And I say, well, how many of you think it would lower my self-esteem because of what Jason said? And everybody puts their hands up. I say, well, the truth of the matter, it doesn't do either because it should not matter. The event should not matter. It doesn't matter what Jason says to me. It only matters the R. So E plus R equals O. It only matters the R. It is the response, not the reaction because reaction is knee jerk. It mm -hmm. is the response I choose to tell myself after you say that. So in one answer, I could say to myself, my self-talk, I could say, oh, my gosh, Jason's only known me for five minutes. How the heck's he figured it out already? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I am a loser. <laughs> right. and, yeah. I, and I reinforce that story. Sure. So therefore, my O, my outcome is negative, And I carry that with me. Or option two, I could choose a different response. And I could say, well, you know what? Jason doesn't really know me. Maybe he's going through a tough time. Something happened to him. Maybe I should show him patience and compassion. And matter of fact, I think I'm even going to pray for him tonight because why is he lashing out at people like that? And therefore, my O, oh, my outcome is different. So mm -hmm. I always run E plus R equals O. I can't even tell you how many times a day I still run that little formula when I start drifting back to my old stinking thinking, as Zig Ziglar would say. Right, I love that. Uh, the, that that was the, one of the the few books in the beginning that really changed my life. Is uh, Zig Ziglar's "See You at the Top" and yeah. the subtitle "How to Eliminate" or a checkup from the neck up on how to eliminate stinking thinking uh, and avoid hardening of the attitudes. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love that. that. That's, That's a classic. Zig Greatest was great. You know, I got to do a a little speaking tour with Zig Ziglar. That was just such a, a treat to go on stage and share the stage with him a few times. Oh, really, gosh. really awesome. That was about, uh, I don't know, 17 years ago. It was, yeah, it was awesome. So that's such yeah. a cherished moment. I got to tell you, first time I met Zig is, was in an elevator at a conference. And uh, I said, oh my gosh, Mr. Ziglar, I'm such a big fan. And he goes, man, I'm really hot. I needed a fan. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was so funny he had the and, and man talk about a speaker with stage presence oh, yeah. wow he just made everything so interesting i'll tell you though i'll let you in on a little secret about the late great zig ziglar at dinner we were having dinner one night and he was he really did not hit it off with tony robbins I'm you, those two oh, wow. did not like each other i don't think oh wow <laughs> yeah just a little insight there a little behind the behind the curtain there but uh you know that's the way things go in every business but okay so give us that formula from jack canfield again yeah it's e plus r equals o uh -huh. e stands for an event 
R stands for how you choose to respond to the events that you usually don't have control over. Mm -hmm. And O stands for the outcome. And by the way, a lot of times you start thinking your old way of thinking and having your old beliefs because you really don't have control over it because you've reinforced it so many times over the years that your mind automatically has that programmed and automatically drifts back to it. So the way to overcome that is by continuously, it's repetition, continuously changing your response when you start to drift back to that old way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Okay, what else do you want to talk about? Maybe a question I haven't asked you or just whatever you want to share with the audience. Well, I am uh, so excited, first of all, to be speaking for your great audience, for those who are coming. You, everybody's got to be there. We got to have this, the greatest, biggest event, most impactful event of your entire life. So you got to be there. Sounds first. good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Get your tickets at jasonhartman.com. There you go, jasonhartman.com. You know, I also am going to share how you can elevate your thinking and how you can elevate your results and your actions by doing certain, and I want to give them all away, but certain minor little techniques that you could do on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis so that you can attract, yeah, you heard me correctly, attract more abundance, more business, more deals. You got to think of it like this. Every day you and I are out there, we're throwing out boomerangs. Mm -hmm. And people don't look at it like that. But every day we, we're out there, when we interact with somebody, you're throwing out a boomerang. And here's what I always say. What you throw out is what will come shooting back at you. So if you're throwing out you know, negativity, if you're throwing out screwing somebody over in a real estate deal. If you're throwing that stuff out, that's what's going to come back at you. Right. So you always got to remember it's a boomerang. Yeah. We're going to talk about how to overcome a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just to comment on that, one of the things that has surprised me and really discouraged me the most in the business world, I just can't believe how many people just do such bad things and seem to have no conscience about ripping people off. And I tell you, I get a little mired in this negative cycle with that sometimes. And, you know, I do believe in the law of cause and effect and it, you know, what comes around does go around, but you know, James, sometimes it takes a long time to come back around. <laughs> You know? Yeah, hundred percent. And you know what? It's I, not what very I, quick. <laughs> yeah, and you know what I always say is, I don't even worry about that stuff. Yeah. You know, if you have to, then you know there are times where I have to get I'll a lawyer admit, involved. I do a little bit. It it gets to me sometimes, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it. And what I, what helped me was my sister passed away several years ago of a brain tumor. One of my sisters. Yeah. And it taught me that the most precious, valuable commodity that we have as human beings is air. You ain't breathing. Forget about all the real estate deals. Forget about whatever you want to do. Three minutes or less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the second most important commodity is your time. Mm -hmm. And so when my sister passed away, I realized something that I'm blessed to be breathing today. I woke up today. There are people all over the world who didn't have that honor today, mm -hmm. who didn't wake up. Right. right. Yeah. And I can choose to spend the time I have today focusing on why did this person do this to me? Well, you know, and, and have that eat me up for days, weeks, months. Now, there are times when you have to do it in a business setting and you've mm -hmm. got to get legal yeah. you know, attorneys involved. Sure. I've been there. Yep. You've been there. Yep. Right. Oh, definitely. And, but I choose to not let that stuff occupy and run my life because I realize that every second that I waste, every minute that I waste every day is a second and a minute that you don't ever get back. And I learned that when my sister died because she doesn't have any more time. Mm hmm. That's why I don't watch the news. I mean, seriously, you're talking about the news. It's always something negative. Yeah. And this person did this and that politician. And I don't even want to be around that nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. So give out your website, if you would. you got a brand new website. It's beautiful, by the way. Uh, give you. that out. It literally just launched late last night. It, it was recreated. It's real simple. It's www.big moneyspeaker.com www.bigmoneyspeaker.com and there's also a free webinar on there if anybody wants to go on and learn how to become a speaker. Good stuff, good stuff. And you got a whole bunch of books, James. How many books have you published? Now it's 21. 21 books, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually awesome. working on the 22nd that will be out this month. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, James, thank you so much for joining us. And just wrap it up with a closing thought. We'll look forward to seeing you uh, speaking at Profits and Paradise. Leave us with a closing thought. 
The biggest wealth building mistake I've ever made in my entire life was not investing in coaching and not learning from people who have already walked the path that I want to walk. So if you want to speed up your prosperity, if you want to speed up your abundance factor, if you want to speed up doing deals in real estate, then you've got to invest in yourself, not spend money on a coaching program. Invest in yourself because if you always focus on the current cost, my friend, you will never get the future payoff. Good stuff. Yeah, that's a very good point. You got to invest in yourself. And uh, I learned that lesson at a very young age. I'm thankful and uh, was always buying cassette tapes back in the days and books and all of that stuff. And it just completely changed my life for the better. So good advice. James Malinchek, thanks so much for joining us. And we'll look forward to seeing you at our upcoming event. We can't wait to see it. Thank you, Jason. I'm fired up to be there. Thank you so much for listening. Please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any episodes. Be sure to check out the show's specific website and our general website, hartmanmedia.com, for appropriate disclaimers and terms of service. Remember that guest opinions are their own, and if you require specific legal or tax advice or advice in any other specialized area, please consult an appropriate professional. And we also very much appreciate you reviewing the show. Please go to iTunes or Stitcher Radio or whatever platform you're using and write a review for the show. We would very much appreciate that. And be sure to make it official and subscribe so you do not miss any episodes. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode.